Chapter 29 Christ is useless to those who observe the law. Let us glorify God, all nations gathered together, for He has also visited us. Let us glorify Him by the King of glory, by the Lord of hosts, for He has been gracious towards the Gentiles also, and our sacrifices He esteems more grateful than yours. What need, then, have I of circumcision, who have been witnessed to by God? What need have I of that other baptism, who have been baptized with the Holy Ghost? I think that while I mention this, I would persuade even those who are possessed of scanty intelligence, for these words have neither been prepared by me, nor embellished by the art of man, but David sung them, Isaiah preached them, Zechariah proclaimed them, and Moses wrote them. Are you acquainted with them, Trypho? They are contained in your scriptures, or rather not yours, but ours, for we believe them. But you, though you read them, do not catch the spirit that is in them. Be not offended at or reproach us with the bodily uncircumcision with which God has created us, and think it not strange that we drink hot water on the Sabbaths, since God directs the government of the universe on this day equally as on all others, and the priests, as on other days, so on this, are ordered to offer sacrifices. And there are so many righteous men who have performed none of these legal ceremonies and yet are witnessed to by God himself."